Hi guys, this is Small Archangel. Welcome back to episode 2 of my revisited Long Dark. I've just woken up uh, on the second day. Um, tin of coffee. I've left quite a lot of stuff on the shelves around here. I haven't decided this is going to be my base. I don't think that's the best bed in the world, but I've got everything else pretty much that I need here. I have searched through everything in this place. It's basically a mechanics type place. And I've picked up the stuff that's useful to me and I've actually moved it around so I've, I've, I'll probably do a bit more moving around but um, like for example putting stuff that I can repair things with by there which would make real sense but otherwise I've put uh, I've stowed clothing and stuff in lockers and oh actually I picked up a crowbar what have we here work boots well I have already found a pair of work boots but I've got a, a crowbar, which I basically found on the floor. Um, clothing. Yeah. So I've now picked up another pair of work boots. I'm already wearing one pair. This pair's an even better nick, but I'm going to put those in there for the time being. So, and I'm going to carry on out into the world beyond, see what awaits me. So I'm a little bit more... Um, little bit better equipped than I was before. I still haven't quite got everywhere in this place. There's that purple car over there. But I really want to exp uh, ex experiment. I really want to explore. That's, that's the whole point of this. So I'm just gonna... That'll come in handy. Pick up some stuff. Managed finally to get myself to uh, get myself unencumbered but uh, that said I'm now probably going to get myself re-encumbered by picking up a load of stuff which as I say is uh, quite a departure from when I first started playing and found that actually I just couldn't pick up enough Hope nobody to needs this anymore. save my life literally I think actually that um, there is an increased drop rate when you use the easier mode. It's uh, not just a case of the wolves not attacking you. I think there's more stuff as well. I could use this. Yeah, I probably could. So I'm hoping I'm not going to be over encumbered but you know I don't I'm not sure I really really need those flares because uh, usually I've used flares well I suppose they're useful for lighting places up but I've usually used flares for um yeah, I swear it's somebody in here with me <laughs> I've usually used them for scaring away wolves and wolves aren't particularly interested in me in this easy mode so what's water purification tablets oh, that's pretty good actually I need that I've found about a thousand pairs of those, so I'm not sure I really... Oh, do you know what? I, if I build up a massive stash of things, I don't really care at this point. I know I've searched it. Oh, right, okay. I keep forgetting. Second time out, you don't see them. What have we here? Nah. Then this bed is probably more comfortable and more beneficial than the one that I um, have in the garage but there's so little space between these places oh look long underwear i didn't even think to look at the bath i don't think i missed anything though there's another flare yeah i'm just gonna leave that flare there not sure i need any cotton long underwear because i'm already wearing some uh, and these places being fairly close to where i set up base anyway i'm not too concerned be honest, I find it a little difficult to believe that I'll actually get much further than where I am right now, still, even though it is a lot easier than it was before. What's this? kind of feel like going across the lake to that house there, actually. I think that's what I really want to do. Ooh, 
there's a deer carcass. Now, the question is, am I going to die of something while I harvest it? Probably not. I've got a hunting knife at least. Let's do this thing. Previously, I have actually frozen to death while doing that. I'm just going to check. I'm, yeah, stupidly hungry and thirsty because I forgot to have breakfast. Okay, let's have... I've kept in my backpack deliberately all the things that really need eating, consuming quick. And so I'm I can use to, a drink. Yes, I know. <laughs> let's see, that needs... That's tomato soup, which is a bit weird. Let's just have that. And this will lighten the load a little bit as well. I've probably got... Let's see how that's looking. Oh, that's looking lots better. Uh, this wind isn't looking too terrific though. I only wish that I got through calories as fast as this guy because... Well, actually I don't, because I'm probably starved to death. Let's get another building over there. So maybe the best thing to do is to go across the lake to get to places. Although I am always scared, I'll just go straight through the ice and bang, game over. So I think when you play easy mode, actually the game is a little bit harsh, less harsh with you, so you don't die of hypothermia or starvation, dehydration quite so readily, and maybe there's a smaller chance of being overcome by you know, food poisoning or anything like that as well. Now that looks quite steep, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get up there. I'm going to try. No? Okay, looks like my look's out there, I'm going to have to go around a different way there perhaps. Where the wolf is for me now. Warmer. Should I? Last night before retiring I I cut up a few of my old bits of yeah bits of clothing that I found that were no good and were a bit trashed and I cut them all up in hopes that I'm going to be able to use them to repair bits of my clothing as well. Okay, looks like a hunting lunch. Misanthropes Homestead. Nice. Got some, what is that, a tarnoy system up there? Okay. Let's check this out. Because this might actually make quite a nice base for operations. Well, it's unlocked, which I would have, wouldn't have expected of a misanthrop, but there you go. Lantern fuel. That'll come in handy. Yes, please. Out of the shock of a life, I've actually found somebody in one of these places. So, NPCs are on the roadmap, I believe. But we haven't got any in-game in yet. They'll be giving us the fright of our lives when we do find them. I always think that looks like a door, but if it is, you can't go through it. What's this? Another sewing Hope kit. nobody needs this anymore. Misanthropes like sewing, obviously. That's just stuff. Fork of beans can be warmed up on a fire. I've already seen that. Any kind of stove or fire you set going. I could use uh, this. No, 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 we're not getting deja vu here. I'm sure the last place I went to that looked like this had a kind of dog food in exactly the same place. And Mackenzie said exactly that. Mm. 
All I need now is a bottle of Lee and Perrins. Make my pork and beans taste a little bit less bland. There's this weird glitter floating around the joint. What have we here? Three sewing kits. Seriously, this, this guy really likes sewing. Whoever lived here was a keen sewer and sardine eater. I'm sure that uh, the loot is entirely randomly generated, but that'll Ooh, come in handy. Hello, I've never seen one of those before, but I'm guessing I can get one by fishing in the fishing holes. But I'm not quite sure what tool I have to use to hack through the ice. Maybe I should find out. I have a hunting knife. Maybe I can use that. I left my fishing gear back in the base though. It was one of the things I offloaded. Yeah, pretty Hope sure. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Newsprint from down there before as well. Okay. Nothing on these shelves. More basic gloves and I could use this. Yeah, I probably could use that. I don't think I'm wearing a scarf at the moment. Well, I can trash those. Get the fabric from them. Water bottle. Oh, I've got a few thousand of these by now. See, this is why I offloaded everything I possibly could. Nothing in this bath. There's not much point in taking water from the toilet tank when I can just, you know, melt some snow on the fire. Okay, so what did I just pick up? I just picked up the scarf. I a, a lot of food, yes. Let's wear the scarf. There, we can add, add that to my gear. I don't think... Right, that's... That's 72%. They're quite good. What was it? I was going to trash that. Okay, there we go. We get some cloth out of that in 10 minutes' time. And I'm indoors. Nothing's going to happen to me. Okay, we can rip stuff just like this by the look of it which is quite cool that's 39% I think we'll just trash that as well excellent okay meanwhile how am I doing first no, we're cool but I might just forage some wood now I've figured out how to do it. <laughs> can't see where I've taken it from. Very tidily. Taking it from where you can't tell. Okay. Just take a look around while I'm up here. Let's see how far... See, that looks kind of like, and this wasn't the case before, it looks kind of like I could go all the way over there, which means this is a very big lake. I might be wrong, of course. I seem to remember the lake just kind of dropped you into the sea, and, you know, dropped you into the water and you died the last time around. So I don't know if that's actually still the case and that's the way that the map has managed it. Drops you into the, the lake and bye-bye. I can't see any buildings over there and I'm not going to risk walking on the ice on that side. It still feels like a bit of a risk walking on the ice here to be honest but it seems like a bit of a shortcut if you want to get somewhere fast like that building there which probably looks... Oh hello. What's this? A rifle round. Yeah, they're quite rare. You've got a, a rifle on you then. Okay, I'll take that hat. Didn't have much on him, did he? Okay. 
so I'll head over towards that. Given I don't have anything to fear from that wolf there. I wonder if it's more dangerous when it goes blue. No, because I got that alright. I don't know. Anyway, hopefully that wolf should run away when I approach. So if he doesn't. I'm not entirely sure what accurate wolfy behaviour is. I think more likely that they're not solitary. There's lots of them and I think there are things they'd rather eat than people. But I'm not an expert, but that's what I think. What's this then? Ray, ray, reishi mushroom. Well, are they edible? Or am I supposed to... Because that, that is definitely new. This stuff I'm picking up that's growing is definitely new. There's some more over here. I... Presumably I'm supposed to do something with them, but I have no clue. If it's a mushroom, is it edible? Or do I make medicine with it? What is it? I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll try and find that out. Well, I want to go fishing today. I want to see if I can go... Fishing in one of those ice holes. Just going to check out this house here. That'll come in handy. Wow, another sewing kit, because we didn't have enough of those. Is there anything in the TV cabinet? Not even a TV Times. Sewing kit! Oh my gosh! Well, there's no excuse for my clothes to fall to pieces. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Pork and beans. I'm fond of leaving pork and beans on the table. Obviously a staple. Some more trout would be nice. Way! Get in! need to cook that obviously I could use this but should be able to how good cooking on a brazier is I don't know but you make do with what you have what I have is the world mountain of sewing kits And sardines. I've got quite a lot of sardines. Pancakes. Okay. Okay, so check out upstairs just in case there's something super fantastic that I'd miss otherwise. And that's what I'm always afraid of is that I will miss that so newspaper what have we here? under the sofa. And Basic gloves. You, we've got a few of those. I may as well. I'm unencumbered. What a surprise. Uh, they're a bit trash, but again, all this stuff is good for. Basic boots, condition, crap. I can't help myself. That'll come oh, in handy. Oh, now that will come in handy, yes. Nordic fleece can't beat it. Right, now I am extremely encumbered. I'm surprised I can still stand up, frankly. I'm not going to be running anywhere for a while. Anything in this bath? No, I didn't think I'd missed anything. Now we won't bother gathering any water because I'm already weighed down. Okay, let's just do a bit of wood foraging. Although, heaven knows. I'm heavy enough, frankly. Oh, I think I missed. Keep doing that. Click the wrong button. Total fail. Okay, we well, foraged tinder plug too. Okay, that wasn't a massively good um, foraging trip. 
Okay, now, if it's even possible, I'd quite like to go back to my base now, because I weigh about six tons. So we'll go by the shortest route, which hopefully isn't through the ice, to the bottom of the lake. Because I weigh twice what I did when I came out this morning. And I think my base is over that way a bit. This is not gonna this is not gonna be a very fast journey. As the crow flies it might be, but as the very fat, very overweight, asthmatic crow flies or waddles. And wheezes. I think I was right about the asthmatic. Yeah, my base is roughly opposite the misanthrope's hut. The amount of games I've played in my life which have told me I'm encumbered. Yeah, it happens a lot. Just too much stuff. Is that the corpse I looted on the way out? Probably. Yeah, I think so. Coastal town site. Here we are. There's a wolf. Well, it's not running at me and ripping my throat out, so... It's running away. One of the good things about um, actually getting the better of a wolf, of course, is that you can make a wolfskin coat out of it. Fat chance when they're running from me rather than at me. Right, so I have got a absolute shed load of stuff and dumping it in a few places would be really quite good. So I've put all my wood in here. So we'll just do, I think it's in other. No, it's not in other. It's in tool. No material then. Tinder plug, newspaper, cloth, okay. Now, I don't know if I even got any wood. I just got tinder plugs. That's all I managed to get. Okay. Well, what do we have here? Wood matches. Tool. Cardboard matches. Wood matches, yeah. We've got silly numbers of these things. Silly, silly numbers. There's no way I need to carry all that around with me. No wonder I'm way down. And on the, where I put my sewing kits here, there's about 43 of them. It's one, two. What did I just put in there? My hunting knife. I want to keep that. It's a sewing kit. I'll keep one on me, but really, who needs that many? Uh, what did I put in here? Nothing. Well, we can put some flares in there because I don't need them. 
she says i might grow and come to regret that decision okay so i put all my let's see what have we got food 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 condensed milk. Uh -huh. tin of sardines i'm keeping the stuff that needs eating quicker because it just seems like a good idea although i might find i've got more stuff that needs eating quicker unless it doesn't venison raw i should probably put that somewhere too oh this takes a while put my meat in this one like my meat and my fish hey, put it in the drawer I know it's not an ideal place to put meat and fish in a drawer but you know okay oh enough enough let's go uh no clothing I do have a load of it Flea sweater I need to put on. Okay, clothing, fleecy sweater on. Where? Because it's better than that one. And then I can put that one in there. There. Right. I need my fishing kit, which is not in there. Oh. Okay, line. Just give me them all. Fishing tackle. Do I need... I'll be very upset if I get out to the fishing huts and discover then that I need something else to get in there. Because this is something I've wanted to try ever since I saw those fishing huts. Fishing! Where's my nearest hut? That one, straight ahead of me. trouble with uh, an enlarged world is it takes ages to get anywhere. And I know that's realistic, but when you're trying to do a video and keep it under a week long, it's, it's interesting. Okay. Hope nobody needs this anymore. I think that's unlikely, dear. Nothing in there. Rifle round. Oh, I have three now. And no rifle. And some nuts and bolts. Excellent. Okay. Use knife. This could take some time, folks. Let's hope I don't freeze to death in the process. Excellent. Hours to fish, one. Hmm, let me just check my... Oh my heck. Yes, let's get this sorted first. I do not wish to die while fishing. Okay. Let's eat something. That's cold. Oh, go away. Gulp. And let's drink something. They look a little better now. Okay, let's fish. Let's just fish for an hour and see if that produces anything at all. Hello! Oh, 
Okay, what time? Uh, encumbered again. Mm, what a surprise. Okay, well, we're well, not bad. Let's try that again. Fishing line snap. Fishing tackle is required. Oh, I need some more tackle now. Well, I got myself a trout. So I guess we can call that a success. Getting a little bit dark here, but from the ice, I can actually see my way around quite a lot. And maybe, just maybe, I can learn my way around. We've got the misanthropes up there. We've got another big kind of island thing over there, but I can't see if there's any structures on it from here. We've got ice fishing huts all over the shop, so maybe if I can visit a few of those, I might even find some more fishing tackle. Um, I have no idea if that fishing hook there is one I went into the first time. It might be. I don't know if I can make any fishing tackle. And this bay is a really wide curve going round and I don't know what's at each end of the road. So that might be the next thing on the agenda. To go along the road and see because on this map I can actually find my way around because pretty much everything is on the road that goes curves around the bay. Uh, whereas I find in Mystery Lake, I just have no clue. I guess I would have if I... I've not been here before, I don't think. Uh, I guess I would find my way around eventually. The other thing, of course, that I would really, really like to find is the Nirvana of uh, any of these maps. Or so I've heard, uh, which is the... It's a trap door that leads to some sort of secret base type thing, but it's never in the same place. It's, it, there's various places where it can be, and I don't know where any of them are. So so that I would like to, to find at some point as well. But if they've doubled the size of, of, of their maps, the, the chances are I'm not going to find it, because I've, I've never found it since. Mind you, I did look, and if Steam is telling me the truth, I have clocked a grand total of about three, four hours in this game, which explains a lot. Never quite got on with it. That whole sort of face planting with a wolf on my back thing didn't, you know, do it for me. But now I can take the wolves out of the equation, it gives me a massive head start. But to say at the moment, it does feel slightly balanced, unbalanced, in my favour. So I feel kind of like I'm, yeah, it, the, the game is unfairly biased towards me rather than against me, um, which is weird really because I don't know, you would think that I could use this. Even though I'm over in but I could use it. You kind of feel like there's, there's not quite enough of a challenge, which is weird. Uh, which I wouldn't ever think I would have said, but there you are. We can open things in their lock. No, this is not lock. I'll trash those for something. I wouldn't have thought there'd be anything under the bonnet. And the sky's darkening, so I think it's time I got home. Don't think I've checked that purple car yet, though. So yeah, I, I suppose it would be nice if... Uh, I probably have been in there, actually. There's that hat on the seat. And there's... So oh, that was a, there was something there. It's a magnifying lens that can be used to start a fire during daylight. 28%. Okay, they still give me that little Cujo moment. There's nothing in there. Okay. Well, uh, time to get back. It's nice to know that when you come out of your base or a building, you're not going to be surrounded by prowling wolves. Uh, I do like that. Um, so I, I do appreciate that rather, but uh, yeah. Anyway, so. So yeah, um, it would be good if we had some sort of more balanced one, perhaps where uh, loot was not incredibly difficult to find and um, tool to use. I don't have one, clearly. I'm not very good at this. Um, yeah, well, loot was uh, a little bit easier to find and your character didn't consume their own body weight and food every 10 minutes. 
but at the same time wolves could still attack you because it's not just the wolves I have a problem with really it's that whole sort of everything else in the world killing me as well uh, at the same time that that you know really gets you down after a while uh, whereas this type of feeling is going to prove too easy if anything um, I'm not likely to need too much in the way of first aid for example because I yeah, I don't get attacked by wolves, so and I'm going to put my water purification tablets. No, I'm not sure if I'm going to put them there. I'll put them somewhere nearer the fire. Okay, so uh, did I have any materials to put in there? Firewood, no. Cloth should probably go in there. Uh, newsprint, reclaimed wood, reishi mushroom. I'm not quite sure what... Uh, edible shelf mushroom. Maybe I can eat them there while well, it's edible, so... That should go among my food. Maybe I should try... Black bear hide. Ooh. Ooh. This, ooh. That would be cool. There, there must be bears out there, then. Well, that's something else I'm not going to find if I... If I have this on easy mode I'm not gonna find that on easy mode because uh, I'm not gonna be able to uh, no on accelerant let's see if I can start a fire without any petrol to put on it probably not yeah finding a bear and making a bear skin coat would be really rather cool but something tells me he'd probably make me breakfast before I made him into clothing failed yeah there we go I haven't got the hang of doing this without petrol Anyway, so I'm going to leave this episode for now with me struggling to make a fire in a barrel and, uh, but other way, otherwise, uh, fairly pale and hearty. Um, and maybe you'll join me for episode three to see if I managed to kill myself then. That's uh, being the whole point of this cheery little game. Um, frozen suicide. No, not quite. Okay, guys, thanks for watching and join me next time. Bye-bye.